Welcome to episode 2 of turning $100 into $1 million and this is the series where I risk a whopping $100 of my own money for your sake, for your entertainment, in an attempt to turn it into $1 million. Now if you didn't see the first episode, it was just an introduction, me setting up my account and which brokerage account that I'll be using. If you haven't seen that yet, the link will be down below in the description as well as I'll make a playlist on my channel so that way you could see all the episodes right in a row and it will autoplay for you so you can sit back relax and just watch the entire series in this episode we're going to be finally buying my first stocks with the hundred dollars in my account and before i buy them uh, these were essentially just picks i saw in a group and again i wouldn't recommend following this investment advice necessarily this is not something you want to put your entire life savings on the line for but i can't stop you from doing what you want to do if you want to follow my picks that's totally understandable you can feel free to do so and uh, like I said, these are just stocks that I'm seeing on newsletters, forums, groups, and different hot tips and picks of the day. And so these are not actually stocks that I would buy myself, uh, but we're just doing it for entertainment purposes only. So I have two stocks that I'm going to be purchasing with this $100 amount in my account. And before we go ahead and buy them, uh, let me just show you which stocks I'll be buying. So the first one is going to be the stock here called ABR or Arbor Realty Trust. It's a REIT, a REIT. And if you haven't seen my videos yet, where I actually do recommend investing in REITs, of course, you do want to do your due diligence. You don't want to just invest in any REIT, but I will link a video down below uh, to a video I did showing you why, sh why you should invest in REITs and the benefits and why it can be very advantageous to you. So most stocks are greatly discounted right now, of course, because of the little mini recession that we you can call it we might have had from this virus but now the market does seem to be exiting that mini bear market and today specifically today is friday the market is down right now as i'm recording this about 600 points and it is friday march 27th so abr it is up for the day about eight percent and you can see it does offer these hefty dividends here of 17 and a half percent per share and uh, that's probably because the stock has been so beaten down from the mini bear market that we had. So just if you see the five day chart, it is up one month chart, six month, and you can get a good idea of the one year. So there, of course, is when the virus outbreak started to happen and the market took a beating. If you look at the five year, it does look pretty damn good. It has always been an uptrend. And then, of course, just with the bear market, that's when it had the downturn. So you might actually want to look into this stock. I can't recommend one way or the other but it does look like it could potentially be a good buy the other stock pick i saw just from a group is the stock oxlc it's oxford lane capital group and if you look at the one year chart here five year not terrible uh, pretty much trading sideways for almost its entire lifetime until the hit it took and so this is most likely a dividend investment where you're not going to see much value in the appreciation necessarily of the stock but over 32 and a half percent as a dividend right now and of course the stock is under five bucks as we're speaking but that is still a pretty hefty dividend now we're gonna be buying both of these stocks and I'm thinking of just putting half in one half in the other now I don't know how long we'll be holding these stocks it could be for a long time it could be for a very short-lived period we will see what happens I will make that judgment myself but we're gonna start here with a market order and we're going to be buying this stock. Let's bring it up here. A, B, R. Put that back to market. And let's see what we can get here. Let's see if we put 50 bucks in. So give or take, uh, we'll try for, let's see, not nine shares. Yeah, we'll do eight shares. Eight shares of this one. So that would come up, come out to be about that. And this is my first time using this platform specifically. Just want to make sure market order it will be just for the day and we're not going to put any stop prices or limits on there just because we're not going to be trading this for that short of amount of time but uh, let's see what happens here please enter a verification boom we have bought some shares of this stock here and let's see what we got we do have it in my portfolio now so that is my position i have eight shares of abr 
average price I got in at a market price of about just about 682 and I'm already in a little bit of profit guys look at that three cents profit we are on our way and 0.05% uh, gain and so that is my first purchase with this amount we go to my account now over here you'll actually see that my net account value is up three cents and the cash balance of course out of the hundred dollars so that is how much I have invested so far and so that's what I got that's my portfolio so far granted I don't know if if I were to sell right now I could actually lock in that price in order to get that three cent gain I don't know if I'll be able to get that deal but that is what my net account value stands so far so I would say we're off to a good start guys next it is time to put the rest of the account or as much as I can into OXLC so let's bring that up here Oxford Lane Capital Corp bring it up and we will buy this stock right now I want to do a market order buy and let's see what we can get here I believe we can do nine shares. Let's see if we could make that happen. Again, no stop price, no limit price. We're just going to be holding it for now. And let's place that order. Oh, buying power is insufficient. Okay, we're going to have to bring that down to eight shares. And boom, market, the order was fulfilled. And now we own some shares of that stock as well and guys now ABR is up to a 11 cent gain but we are down a penny with OXLC so that's the position there it even tells you the position ratio of my portfolio so most of that hundred dollars is in ABR but we do have a good amount in OXLC as well if you go to my account the account uh, position didn't seem to have updated just yet it still stands at a three cent gain but we have those stocks we have purchased our first stocks we are in profit. We still have a few dollars left in the portfolio, but I'll just leave that in there. Majority of this account is in stock now. And so that will conclude this episode. And I don't know how long I'm going to be. Uh-oh, we're down five cents, guys. You'll have to wait. Stay tuned to the next episode to see what happens. I'll be using my judgment and my experience as far as when to sell these. And I'll be keeping a good eye on the charts as well. We have purchased my first stocks. And we are on the path, we are on the road to that $1 million mark. So I do hope you enjoyed that video. We are now in profit once again, actually. And if you like that video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Smash that like button. And if you'd like to see more from my channel and more of this series, be sure that you subscribe and hit that notification bell. So that way you do not miss any future videos or episodes. See you in the next one.